A two year old girl is back home with her family tonight after two serious health scares. Welcome back to the 10. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Marcella Lee. She was born with a rare genetic disorder and then faced another hurdle. But as News 8's Regina Ahn shows us, the toddler is the perfect example of never giving up hope. Nothing can prepare you for parenthood, and a local family was not ready to hear that their unborn child could possibly die or have lifelong complications. For Anne Marie and Stephen, they were presented options, but without a doubt in their mind, they were prepared for whatever would happen next. Let's get your bibs. Stephen and Anne Marie never thought their dreams would come true. Your turn for food. Being parents of a baby girl. No. Definitely, we're going 100 miles per hour. Severina Quinto, or Sevi, as most know her by. <laughs> She's like, um. The spunky one-year-old who loves apples and bananas. Mm. You would never know it, but little Sevi was born with something called alpha thalassemia major, the most severe type of a blood disorder that essentially strips oxygen from your blood and could lead to heart failure. Oh. They're all gonna heal. Several months before she was born, her parents were given a choice. It's either terminate the pregnancy, keep going, but you will have a stillborn. Neither of those was going to work. No, we need to try whatever it takes. Her heart is beating. We know she's she's there. We just needed to try. Taking the chance, the two went forward. They would inject uh, blood <laughs> into her umbilical cord. After five intrauterine transfusions, Sevi was born in September last year. But she's happy and eating. Sevi was in the NICU for 23 days, but something they didn't expect. We were prepared for the thalassemia and everything that goes with it. The blood draws, the, the transfusions, and, and we were mentally prepared, I guess. This liver thing took us for a loop. A liver biopsy showed Sevi's liver was failing. In the matter of just a few months of living, Sevi was placed on a liver transplant list. But hope was never lost. Doctors told the two Sevi was miraculously getting better with weekly blood transfusions and draws here at Kaiser. Sevi's liver was showing improvement. Hey everybody, here's Sevi. She is getting transfusion number 17. But what motivates me is the fact that, you know, she's gone so far as to teach us and to just, she's writing her own story. And, then, and as a dad, that couldn't make me any more proud. After 19 blood transfusions, weekly blood draws, dozens of trips to the hospital, Sevi is doing okay. Her smile says so. Can I eat too? And today, Sevi is doing great, exceeding all expectations. Thanks to blood donors, children like Sevi are able to be happy and healthy. If you'd like to do your part, CBS 8 is partnering up with SDSU and American Red Cross. If you'd like to join, visit cbs8.com slash community. We'll have all the information there. What a little fighter. Thanks so much for sharing her story, Regina.